I just feel that I'm just one teacher trying to do his job, mm -hmm. trying to uh, take that responsibility to be the teacher, an effective teacher for the students. 15-year CPS teacher Joseph Okel is standing up for what he believes in by not standing in line with CTU's 25,000 members. I joined CPS as a teacher, not as a union member. The math teacher and chess coach at Earl Stem Elementary in Englewood is the only teacher who's showing up during the strike just like the first time he crossed the picket line in 2016. His chess team went on to win the national championship that year. They took fourth this year, but he says a strike that continues any longer will hurt them and his students in the long run. This is not about money. This is not also about politics. This is about the kids. This is about the children, their future. This is about the parents. We're inconveniencing the parents. And that's why he's showing up to school despite backlash, something he's all too familiar with. Okel ultimately suspended from the union for his decision in 2016 and refusal to fork over the day's pay. He says CTU continued to take dues from his paycheck until he filed this complaint in court, citing a Supreme Court decision. There are teachers and CTU members who will see this tonight and they won't be happy about it. What do you say to them? They won't be happy in, uh, well, I can only ask them as to why they want teachers to leave the students. I, I just cannot see the, the correlation there. I cannot see the relevance. I cannot see why do we have to sacrifice the kids. We reached out to CTU and CPS for a comment on this, on his decision here. As soon as we hear back, we'll post their responses online. Reporting live in the control room tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. Brad and Erica. All right, Tara, thank you.